Hey folks, Quilly Team here and welcome to Let's Play Europe Universalis 4. How's air? God, our name is truly embiggened and I think Russia's font size might still be a little bigger than us, which is very frustrating. But we'll see what we can do about that as we go forward. So things are pretty swell here. It is 1647, so we have got a little over 150 years to play. Um, still left in the game. We have a truce going on with Morocco right now. And th to me, that's still my primary target over here, is to go and do this, connect everything up, and maybe move our trade center up into the, uh, the Seville trade node, which would be pretty potent. But the other thing we can do... Uh, to improve some potency is probably gain some more presence in the Gulf of Aden. Now, at a certain point, we might not care too much if the trade moved up to Alexandria and then went west to Tunis and then flowed into Seville. But that's a lot of trade node that we may or may not have a lot of control over in the long term, or like in, in the short term. I mean, maybe we'll get a control over it all at some point, um, but that's actually okay. We just want, you know, what am I trying to say? I'm trying to say that even if we work to get control over the Gulf of Aden right now, that effort's not going to be wasted when we get, you know, if we get control over Alexandria and Tunis. And either way, it'll help guarantee that we can flow trade the right way, which in the long term will be Seville. Short term will be the Ivory Coast, which is still where our trade capital is over here. Did queue up a couple more trade buildings to get built. <clears throat> I also went and, um, you know, it's funny, like, in, in a way, I'm almost, like, using the, um, the estates a little bit more now that it's, like, an explicit decision that I can make. Uh, I gave merchant guilds access to some of our centers of trade and whatnot. Um, and looks like we're gonna have access to a few more buttons. If I go and hit this button, uh, I think we need 40 to get that up to the next level, don't we? Hmm. Do I just wanna give them something else such that they can get um, to 40% influence, which I think will give us 100 Diplo power. <clears throat> Uh, do we have, like, what other provinces could we consider giving them? I give them, actually, you know what? Oh, here's what we can do. So, the Gold Coast is not currently assigned to any estate because it's in a territory. Now, I've been thinking, like, oh, I'm going to save up my territories to get more powerful um, um, states. And that was a perfectly fine idea, except I just checked before the stream started, and, or the stream, the video started. I actually have capacity for 10 states right now. We got in another state boost over here, so I don't have to worry so much about saving my states for, like, the Moroccan and, and Iberian area, which is sort of kind of going to be one of our earliest priorities. So what I'm going to do here, even though we are still a la little lacking on admin power, um, I'm going to go ahead and state up the West African coast over here, and the Gold Coast province... I'm going to make sure to go and spend on the mate core right away. Boom. Which means now I can give you to the Merchant Guild. Ah, their influence will still be below 40. <clears throat> now, I don't know. If they have more than 10% of the land, will the influence tick up? Like, I mean, influence isn't something you want to have rise out of control. I mean, I might just... Hit, that's a lot of money, too, but... Do I just hit this now? I don't think I want to give them more land. There's not much that makes sense to give them right now. Um, these are super wimpy. <clears throat> uh, yeah. I mean, you do have the marketplace already. I suppose I could just give them, like, tons of land around this coast. We gave them Kaior. Yes, we did. <clears throat> I mean, it might be worth doing. But we'll hold off for now. <clears throat> Provinces lack cores, right, because the new area I just made. Uh, so, going forward, we still have an issue in that we have zero admin skill right now. We're not getting a ton of points. If we're going to expand, we might want to consider doing a vassalization thing. Uh, in particular, because we still want to go through our humanist ideas, so that's admin and offensive. We don't have any diplomatic um, idea group right now. In any case, what are we going to do? Well, um, I'm returning one of my diplomats, and what we're going to do is we're going to make some claims on Funj over here so we can keep going east. They have only one ally, which is Pot, Pate, Pate, which I don't even know. Am I wrong about that? Allied with Pate, yeah. Transferring trade power to the Mamluks. Uh, 
Uh, where are you? Oh, you're down here. Oh my god, you're microscopic. Okay, so that's why I was having a hard time seeing you. There you are, right over there. Excellent. Okay, so we can, oh yeah, we can probably keep that, start that fairly comfortably. I stacked up these guys here so I could do a um, split and rebalance kind of thing. And we'll assign you a leader. And one of you is going to keep drilling. And the other one is going to go back to rebel busting for now. Oh, our alliance with Plemkin is breaking. Now, most likely, it's because you're allied to people I have rivaled. And yeah, that, that is fine. Or vice versa, or something like that. Get another core there. And rebel busting. Yeah, there's a little bit of, of whatever over there. Um, apparently, one of the things... I can't remember, where did I see that? I think Briarstone told me this, actually. I th think he discovered that when you're drilling an army, it still gives you unrest busting in the province that you are. Yeah, you can see here, friendly troops minus five, uh, which I hadn't expected. I guess it makes sense, because our troops are still at full maintenance when they're drilling, even though they have no morale. Now, it's only happening in this one province, but they do do rebel busting in that province while drilling, which is huge news. I had not realized that at all. Very significant. Uh, so that alliance breaking is okay. Oh, you're free now. So just to check, we can't declare war. Yeah, I mean, we could no CB, of course, but... Um, and I mean, they, in theory... They don't trust us right now. No, none of that's going to work out. Um, so we're just going to... What are we looking for? Build spy network over here so we can fabricate some claims and start some stuff. And yeah, we might just vassalize you. And that'll be okay. I guess we do border Ethiopia down here. Oh, no, that's Wasteland. Never mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we don't actually border you, so we're not going to start any crap over there. Uh, these explorers ready. We're just waiting for the repairs to finish. Now, we do have, like, we hit the unlimited sailors mark. I'm thinking here that perhaps, I don't know. Yeah, see the local sailors modifier? I think we're going to destroy these docks. And we can open up some slots for something else. I don't know how many of them we built. But there's no way we need docks anymore. Not even if they come in a box. Or if you would eat them with a fox. Get rid of you. And you. I mean, we spent money on them, but we're, what we're doing is we're opening up some slots for other things here. Okay, good. I'm pleased with that. And there we go. So we've got all of our um, state cores over here. We're still working on some territory cores from, I think, the stuff we took over here. Now, you guys are doing rebel busting in this area. I mean, depending on how the rebellion was looking, we could consider just parking them in one province and drilling there. But I think that'll be okay. Uh, legalism, admin power. Yes. Let's double check to see where legalism... Okay, we can't hit the button. If I were to hit this button over here, ah, you would lose some mysticism but gain a ton of free manpower that's actually kind of interesting we'll leave it be for now so drill 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 baby drill if i were to turn that off um i guess just do this pumpkin broke their lines what does the rebellion status look like over here it's actually kind of fine rebel factions is not one yeah yeah so you can sit here and drill you still have full manpower uh, morale maybe it waits until the end of the month to tick there it goes. Okay. And what is this? Killwa. I think that that would be okay to ally with you. Still have the Royal Marriage Tlemkin. That's going to go away at some point. Yeah, sure. I will accept. And we'll Royal Marry you soon. Ottomans, we are capped again, so we can go and bring you home. We got spy networks being built in the Mamluks and Morocco. There we go. Fabricate claims. Um... We'll do Abda over here, because that's likely to be a good war declaration target for us, but we'll probably keep fabricating a little bit longer. I don't know if there's a, prepared, a preferred place for us to put in our boat repair building. No, we're not going to go with the Defender of the Faith. I think we're fine with that. And you guys are still working over here. So what I was thinking with my colonists is I would probably see... I don't know what our percentage chance starts to change. It would be nice to raise these provinces to the point where they get um, size 10. 
That size 10, it's worth building some buildings there, and it gives them the extra slot as well. So that might be the sort of thing we're targeting. Okay, coring there is great. Yeah, just keep on keeping on here with the drills. As you reassemble your armies, like, the individual units keep their drill. I think this is an, just an average, yeah, just the average of the army. Um, so combining and remerging is okay. You're there, you're getting ready to do exploration. Oh, you've started, which is good. How is our naval force limit? We can actually go up quite a bit, and we will do so. Uh, we'll go slightly over, which is fine, actually. Um, in fact, it tends to be a big moneymaker to go ahead and be over by quite a bit. If, if I recall Arumba's math... He does that a lot, and I believe his numbers. Uh, ooh, big money-making production centers. Holy cow. Probably as various states are triggered. Some of these places, some of these territories, we've held for a long time. So as soon as we stated them, like if we take a look over here, um, their autonomy, yeah, is down to, well, it's 25% here because of the Merchant Guild. It's actually all the way zero here. So it was sitting at 75% autonomy, and now it's at 0% autonomy just instantly. Uh, we'll fabricate more claims on the Mamluks over here. Probably we'll stop building the next one. The next one would take a lot of points, so we'll just go ahead and revert it. It is nice to have them on slightly different timers, though, because it makes sure they don't all expire basically at the same time, and we suddenly find ourselves without a CB at a moment where we might want one. We're now malevolent. Liberty, desire, and subjects goes up. Well, that's a little bit annoying, because we are going to get ourselves a subject here, but the relative size, I think, is going to make it just fine, and... Like, what are they going to do? We, we won't need them. The fact that they may not, if they're disloyal and they won't help us in battle, like, who cares? Uh... Low tax income, minus 5%. Granted monopolies. I wonder if there'd be another trigger, if there's something else. I don't know. Tell you what, I'm just going to hit this button. Whatever, it's fine. Um, admin support, we would get the 100 here, which seems okay. All right, fine and fair. And yeah, we might spread a little bit more of that stuff around. Um, it's a little hard to remember like where the good spots might be. How much we need for this? 25, so that might not tick next month, but this one here almost certainly will. Let's cease the drilling, because we're gonna wanna go to war very, 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 very quickly, very soon. There we go, there's our 20 here, and we did get the 25, excellent. Um, I don't think it matters where our claim is. We'll put it on Soba, because I think that's gonna be, yeah one of the higher value provinces, if not the highest value province. We'll probably set that as a war goal over there. And we'll fabricate another claim here. We'll put down on Tadla just because it's adjacent to our existing land. Although we're, pro we're gonna wanna grab a ton of stuff next time. Uh, I didn't realize our forts, oh, our forts up here were still up, really? Oh, we're not getting rebellion. Did they pop up after an upgrade? That's possible. Well, let's drop them for now. And when the war starts, we'll probably actually just drop them right away again. So we could start the war now. What we'll do is probably October 1st. And this is one that's going to have to siege that. It's just a level 1 capital fort, though. Five cannons is going to give us maximum boost, so it's going to be okay. Cores are done. We renewed a loan. I mean, we're making tons of money. 50 a month is crazy. Exploration finished, good. So we're just going to keep exploring from the top down. Um, we'll reveal more coast, which will make it a little bit safer for doing our, our circumnavigation. We can't be first. We still get a reward for having done it, I think. I think we get some prestige. I'm not sure. I don't think they have a whole heck of a lot of troops. Uh, there we go, November 1st, so we get another tick of whatever. Declare war. Pate will jump in. Who cares? Boom. Go. Go. We can keep spying on them just because it will give us some Fort Siege bonuses. Done. F starts at 14% instantly. Crazy. Uh, oh, we can go around this way. Okay. And yeah, to save on admin, because we do want to keep going on Humanist, we'll probably just go ahead and force a vassalize them, and then we'll diplo annex them later on. Siege of Soba is over. That was quick. Now, is there anything we can do vis-a-vis... Pate or Pate over here? That's an interesting question. Uh, we'd have to get... Actually, we can walk there through this... Oh, no, that's Wasteland. Is any of this just uncolonized? Yeah, we can actually walk there without open borders. Not that it particularly matters either way. 
and just go and smack the poop out of them. Let me uh, detach my cannons from here and put them here. And we're just going to send this guy down to there. And there might be some value in getting that. That will put us adjacent to Killwa, who we currently have an alliance with. We're also going to get a royal marriage over here. But yeah, that'll be fine. Oh, they're currently... They're getting beat up a little bit. Interesting. Uh, you're done. We've got perhaps too many cannons here, but it's okay. No, no, no. You don't... Oh! Oh! We do actually have to get access through Ethiopia. Because this is wasteland. I don't know. You can come to here, and then here. We'll I'm have to negotiate some more access rights. I'm confused as to why it's complaining. Wasteland that cuts it right there. Oh! Alright. And you won't give me military access. Oh, alright. Well then, never mind then. Run away! So, unwelcome passenger. Village has been abandoned. Lose a base tax. Largest bears. Of oh! Oh, this is, I think, um, part of our exploration event. That's not one of our territories. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Discovered an agent, so you guys just group up over here. Trade League disbanded, okay. S development increase, good. Now, if we were to not declare war on you, sue for peace over here, and vassalize you, yeah, 92, we're gonna have to wait. It's the length of war is at minus 40 right now. Um, plus, we don't have any war score. So it's exceeding demands, yada, 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 yada. It's going to be okay. Um, we might want to include this area in some just a rebel-busting job, which I think is exactly what we're going to do here. Ew, you can only rebel-bust in your own territory. Now, I think standing here... Yeah, I don't know, actually. Just didn't want any, like, peasants and crap showing up. Well, whatever. Start developing that, which apparently is going to cause a little bit of French unrest there. Um, I guess we'll just stand around here for now. Rebel factions are not actually ticking, so we're good there. Uh, yeah, we can go ahead and just, um, lower our, our forts. I mean, I guess there's a possibility that Pate will do some sort of crazy drop of goods over here, but it seems pretty unlikely. We do have a ton of money, so let's take a look at that. We still have huge production boosters we can do here. There we go. All the way to the point ten. Wow! It exactly used all our money. I guess we could have paid off a loan. But worst case scenario, when it renews it, we get a little bit of inflation. Actually, we have enough to... Yes, I will definitely justify reducing that inflation. Wonderful. We don't need the war taxes or anything like that. I should have reduced the inflation before we started building our buildings, but that's not a big deal. Yeah, I guess we can see the percentage chances over here and start to drop over time. Again, it would be really nice if we get to 10 development, but it might, it might not be as practical to do that. I don't know. Exploration is done. Excellent. And so... Explore. Just more coast, more everywhere. We'll get to know more of our neighbors and everything. It's going to be lovely. What's up, Kilwa? You're at peace? Yep. Are you... With France. Interesting. Um, we might want to go and consolidate this stuff here. I don't think it's a big deal. I don't know if there's, like, super valuable trade goods we might be into or something. Um, this is the source of a trade network. Um, right now it's flowing south, which is a little sucky. We might want to do something with our merchants. Oh, we actually have an extra merchant uh, that I never applied. Whoopsie. Now, I'm assuming we don't actually have enough trade power we're here to do. Well, we have a fair amount of directed trade. And a lot's going down here. And then it flows back up here. And some of it flows out, but not that much. There's a few things we may want to do. I think it's probably fine for us to do a trade transfer from here. Oh, culture conversion changed. Excellent. I don't think we're going to be doing any more of that for a little bit. Uh, I think our merchant hasn't arrived yet. Yeah, right, two days. And then we'll see these numbers change, I think, at the start of the next month. It'll be interesting to see how many more bucks are going to the Ivory Coast. And we 
uh, grabbing these this inland center trade, yeah, expanding over here actually would have a fair amount of value. There we go. We're directing 4.66 gold here. That was huge. I wonder how long that merchant has been there. I'm sure people have been yelling at me, but I am still pre-recording a fair bit here. Uh, you are still not willing to become a vassal, but it's going to get closer. The length of war is going down, and we're still getting more um, war score. We lost one of our generals. That's okay. Um, yeah. I guess I could just pull these guys out and have them do some uh, some drilling. We'll move you to friendly territory. We'll, do we spend the point? Yeah, yeah, we'll, we're going to spend the points to recruit another general. Boom. Gives us professionalism. Hello, three siege pips. Nice. Oh, manufactories has triggered. Okay. I think, I don't remember. I think this is one that there was a chance for us to spawn in our country. Um, but it did not. That being said, we are going to be developing manufactories. Um, yeah, look at this. 5.85 per month. We have a bunch of manufactories. We've got a lot of provinces where they it will pop up on its own and then spread adjacent. This It's not going to be an issue. Um, we'd probably get the, the manufacturing to pop in our country before we cap out our, um, our, our monarch points. Uh, we might still do like an early tech boost, but even that, I don't think it's going to be required. Drill. Drill. So it's J is the shortcut. I'll try to remember that going forward. Uh, no rebel factions that are meaningful to talk about. We're still doing some culture conversions from when we spent a bunch of points ages ago. It might, it, there's probably enough time to validate some culture conversion still. It might be particularly nice to culture convert some 111 provinces and then, uh, because you do it cheaply, and then send a colonist over there to embiggen it. But I think I'm probably mostly done on culture conversion. You do have to do it fairly early for it to pay off. Um, and it might still be early enough to do it. Like, the, the cost of culture conversion is is based on the value of the provinces. Coldest Pierce to the Ice Age. Alright, so a bunch of prices are going to change. It's only for 10 years. It's not the end of the world. Uh, Master Recruiter dies. Well, we don't want to lose admin. The Master Recruiter, is he... It's this guy here. He's only level 1. I mean, who cares about the 5 prestige difference, though? Yeah, we'll just ignore. It's fine. And we don't have to rehire. Keep our money for something else, like maybe pay off a loan. Uh, this is in Fung. We actually don't need to build a spy network anymore over here. Uh, in Morocco, I will fabricate on just wherever. I don't actually care what province at this point. Um, it's going to get kind of pricey. I'm going to go and stop developing in Morocco for now. We've got some spare diplomats. I'm going to put you back on suck up to our allies and suck up the threatening countries, although eh, it's going to be Russia. That's uh, that's all right. There we go. Plus one development in Beta, which brings it down to 28%. Yeah, getting to 10 is going to be tricky, but I think it's going to be okay. Uh, there's a lot of value in grabbing, is it expansive ideas for us? Because we'll get the extra traders. An extra colonist could actually do a, a lot for us still, because we do have a lot of low development provinces. And fixing that would be kind of grand. How are we looking? 12 difference. Length of war is now at minus 30. Bunch of workshops just finished. Yeah, those are really valuable. Um, yeah, we don't have enough to repay any loans right now. They're fairly big loans. Not, not insane, but fairly big. Probably worth paying them off. Uh, like, you know, again, paying them off early doesn't save you anything. You, just, you pay off the same amount of interest. But making sure they don't get renewed is very nice. Flout building restrictions, right. The Dimmy building restrictions are a thing that gives you um, reduced unrest for people of your primary religion, but increased unrest for people of other religions. I don't really care. We'll go this way because it's legalism. And that is good. And if we can get this button a little higher. So it looks like it's, as long as it's over 75, we can hit that button. And uh, and do the corruption tricks. I mean, the thing is, lowering your legalism does cost us some tax modifier for a bit. But I think it's worth getting the burst of money from debasing your currency. So you guys are still just chilling over here. No attrition or anything, which is nice. A uh, bunch of reform progress. Yeah, we don't have many government reforms right now. That I think we would have in this stage of the game with the expansions. But, uh, yeah. 
Now, we probably want to base our armies around maybe like 15 stacks of artillery, because they're really good for sieging. At least having one that's set up for that would be good. I was going to say, I'm assuming we're nowhere close to our force limit, and that is indeed true. Um, there we go. We'll get you going, and we'll see what that does for our, um, a supply in this area. We might have some issues with that, but it's going to be okay. You're still drilling here. I suppose we've got a fair amount of manpower. Let's go ahead and bring ourselves um, up to our force limit anyway. So we can tech now. Yeah, oh, 0% ahead. Oh, oh, because until January, we don't have the penalty yet. We've got the 5% discount here. Yes, we're going to go ahead and get killing grounds. Excellent. Unlocking a new type of cannon. This one swivels. It sounds great. All right, I'm very pleased with that. Drill, baby, drill. Military leader has left us. Oh, this one here, so we can't drill here anymore. Um, we don't have any points to get another general. I could hit this. We actually have more army tradition than this guy will give it to us. Um, it will increase the influence a lot. The thing is, going to AD influence is no longer a bad thing. Let's, let's just do it. Because it's a hundred... Uh, I mean, if I recall correctly, watch it turn out that I'm wrong, but if I recall correctly, a at 100 is now the bad influence, which makes so much more sense than 80. Like, why was it 80 that it would start ticking towards a disaster? I'm sure they had a really good reason for doing it that way in the first place, but yeah. Oh, there you go. You would take it. Now, I could go and milk them for money, and I think I will. I mean, it might make my vassal be in a worse uh, position, but that's going to be okay. So you're going to become a vassal of air. Excellent. Good. Uh, ooh. Now it is February, so there's the 1%, but... And we do want to raise up uh, humanism, but I think actually it would be really worth grabbing this now. It's only 1%, so it's not a big deal. Um, we've got a... Uh, it's actually not unbalanced research, although it would be soon. We do want to get humanist ideas, but you know what? I think this is going to be fantastic. And then we can build the Great Mosque, which is going to be good. Oh, even more states coming in that way, which is going to be lovely as well. Uh, we are going to make sure to improve relations over here. There will be blood. Castile is going to attack someone. Well, whatever, Castile. Keep yourself busy. I don't care. We got another boost over there. Very nice. Now, Edison, which is here, is at a 7. Vedez at a 7 as well. Exploration is done. Keep on keeping on. So we built extra ships. We've got money. We might have enough to pay off a loan right now. We'll take a look at it in just a second. Improve relations here. I mean, yeah, they won't be an issue. We do have the liberty desire. Doesn't help that we're cruel, but yeah, that's going to go away in like two seconds. Ming, flint, glass, and lead crystals. Wait, what? Is this Ming is going to gain this money? I mean, to me, it almost looks like I will get the money for some weird reason. But that doesn't make any sense. So Ming just made a ton of money. <laughs> uh, the beater. Oh, it's paper and stuff. Oh, cool. Excellent. All right. So before we spend the money and then forget that we want to repay some loans, we'll do that. Excellent. Oh, that master recruiter that we didn't murder from that other decision has now died. Uh, there's another master recruiter here. We're making enough money, getting a level three dude is probably fine and worthwhile. I don't particularly care about fort defense. Um, and none of these estate buttons are giving us half price dudes anymore. I wonder if the global settler increase changes this. I'm gonna hit this button. I bet you it doesn't. Interestingly enough, that did give their influence up a lot more here. So if we wanted to do real settling, it would do stuff. And once we get some territory over here, we might go and settle these little blank spots. That seems okay. You know, they'll be adjacent and everything. Yeah, that, that sounds great and lovely and fine. Uh, that's France. Man, their color is way too similar to us. That cannot be allowed to stand. Uh, military, and that's going to be a zero military. Yeah. I'll go for the level 3. Or maybe a level 2. Force Limit Modifier is going to be nice. Yeah, okay, tell you what. We'll just go to level 2. I mean, he's half the price. 
conversions done. Let's keep going with more of that. You guys are drilling, which is good and lovely. How's your drill? Yeah, you're still pretty low on it, but it's going to be okay. So you're done over here. Uh, all our forts are down, which is good. So where do we start next? The thing is, we can we could declare war on the Mamluks whenever. That would be Tlemkin and Morocco. No Ottomans anymore, which is good. Morocco, I think this would be a truce break. What about Tlemkin? We do have a truce here. We also don't have a CB. Um, but we piece them out first, right? Let's build a spy network over here in Tlemkin. I think we still have the royal marriage. But let's, you know, again, we want to keep a good amount of fabrications all over. Uh, we could cart a bunch of people over here and take more territory in Iberia. And it might be sort of a good forward thing to do. Um, but it is harder for us to defend this territory over here. So I'm going to be a little bit cautious and do this. Now, we could start some other wars down here. I think we might be able to fabricate on Ethiopia now. Let me go ahead and recall you from, I guess, the Ming. You're just going to stay automated. Target allies mode. Yeah, yeah. That's going to be handy. Not that we have a whole lot of allies. We could take a look at who might be willing to ally us as well. Make some numbers. I know last time I looked, I saw kill one. I was like, I don't know. Now I'm, I'm fine with having taken it. I don't think it's going to make much of a difference. Now, Adjuron, I believe you're allied to the Mamluks. But not the rest. This would be a way for us to start a war with the Mamluks without everything else. Um, but we don't have any sort of coastal connection. I don't think we can fabricate claims on them or do anything like that. We still got to wait for a diplomat to come home. I guess what we'll do is we'll go ahead and put a cut here. Oh, yeah, we can start building our great mosques, which is probably, yeah, especially in something like air itself, is probably worth a lot more than waiting for, than saving the money for another um, tax thing. I think that's going to pay off really well. So we'll go and put in the cut here. I'm still super enjoying the series uh, and really looking forward to... Um, well, at this point, when I'm recording it, I've gotten a couple of days. I'm going to be doing a live stream for EU4. This will be in the past by the time you got what guys watch this uh, episode. But I'm really excited to see what country people want me to play and how that'll go to start a new game with Dharma. Really excited. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I'll see you guys next time.